Well, the building itself has such a rich legacy. The building was once a USO for African American soldiers that were stationed at Camp Shelby during World War II. So the building is very important to this community. Um, it was a community center after it was a USO, and then Head Start held classes here, and then it kind of sat in disrepair. Because of community leaders that knew the significance of this building, they went to the city and that's how this building was actually saved. And then of course the building chronicles African Americans in the military. Um, there was a time when the military was segregated and African Americans didn't always get the recognition that they deserved. So we're very happy to bring attention to some of the lesser known heroes as well as some of the national known heroes. Today's ceremony is very significant to us because we have a group from um, Camp Shelby, a group of soldiers that are coming in, and then we have a committee member that actually retired from the Army, so he's very proud to be able to, to be a part of your Black History Month celebration and to tell you all about our museum, our grand reopening, and then also to introduce to you our traveling exhibit on Megar Evers, who is also a World War II veteran. I felt that 158 should be a part of that because there is so much rich heritage that's in this community that we may have been unaware of, but now we had a chance to go and view that there's a lot of Mississippians as well as a lot of other contributors who have contributed from World War I all the way up to the present. This month is celebrating civil rights. So it's just a reminder to everyone that this is what's going on in the civil rights history. Yes, it's in the past. However, their contributions paved the way for young people, whether they're black, white, it doesn't matter. It's a positive contribution in the past that is being reflected in the present. I believe it's important for the 158 to be involved because it gave everyone opportunity to have to gain a better perspective of the African American soldiers contribution to the US military history and to the defense of this nation from the past, present and future to come. We take pause uh, during this month, not just this moment today, but we take pause this month to to remember uh, and think those that, that endured those sacrifices uh, that, that shouldn't have been endured, but they were. Uh, and not just survive, but excel. Yeah. You know, it's the character that matters. And that character sees no color, that, that character sees no race, that character sees no nation. It's all about character and the trust amongst us as warriors. And, and that's what I see in you, sir. I, I see a warrior, a fellow warrior, and I appreciate everything. Uh, so, well, on behalf of Sergeant Major Sly and I, I mean, really, this, this is a minor tribute, and I wish I could give you back pay, but I can't. <laughs> I'm not. But uh, thank you for, for sharing your insights with us uh, today. I do appreciate it. Thank you.